the player that has gotten the most media attention, I guess we can all agree on, is oh. Bull Bull. Right. Because he's like, what, 7'2", seven, 7'3"? Seven, three. Seven, three. So I just want to know your takes on it. And do you think that he can ever become a star player in the NBA? You go first. Uh, based off these couple games, I kind of do, but I'm kind of afraid because I know he's injury prone. But, um, you know, he kind of he has a three ball and uh, he blocks a lot of shots. This dude's out here blocking jumpers like he's literally blocking jump shots, not jumping. Go seven three. You know, so, I mean, he can be a defensive force. I mean, he can shoot the ball pretty well. I'd like to see him get an inside post game a little bit. But alongside running with Jokic, I think he could be a, a, a an all star level player. He just has to stay healthy. Uh, blocking, he's blocking shots like Mitchell Robinson. He's not even jumping. <laughs> I mean, based on how the NBA is going with the shooting big man mm-hmm. and the spacing, I definitely do see possibly that Bobo could be a star. He has the jump shot. He has handles. He could bring the ball up. He can block shots. He can play defense. He can play virtually one through five. So. <laughs> I definitely see him having that Porzingis type role. It just depends on Denver's development process and how they're gonna play the rotation because they have a lot of young talent there. So, but I do believe he can be a star. Definitely, dude's dumb nice. All star, superstar. What do you see? Superstar. It's hard to determine the superstar because it also depends on situation. I definitely say all star though. I, I definitely agree he could be an all star because ain't no real big men left. So I definitely see all star. You know that he was drafted in the second round, right? Yeah. yeah. He was the 44th pick. Because of injuries. My team was supposed to get him. Your team? What's your team? Tell the world. Nets. Oh. <laughs> Justin Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got, they, got, they got Nicholas Claxton. Yeah, he's good. He's all right. Look, I think Bull Bull, I think it's way too early to say if he's going to be a star or not. I think the potential is there, definitely, but he just came off a major injury. That's what I'm somebody told and me he Bobo finally over, just played. Somebody told me Bobo over John Morant three days ago. No way. No, I swear to God. Not right now. No, like And you have to understand that, no. bro, these are scrimmages that he's playing, and he's not playing it against players that are actually trying right now. And half the Denver team's not even there. Jamal Murray came back, I think, the last game mm-hmm. they played. So, yeah, I don't. I, the, obviously, he has all the talent. He looks like another version of Kristaps Porzingis <clears throat> that can handle the ball. But it's way too early to tell, especially against the competition that he's been facing so far. I mean, him... They got Michael Porter Jr. The Joker's Another still young. That could, yo, that could turn into a pretty deadly. Three. Why is Mason Plumley still on the team? I don't know. Mason Plumley's not bad. He's all right, but yeah, I, don't, I, I don't mean, he's there for the size. Like, I don't, gonna, know. I don't know. Mason like, Plumley. I know. He Thank was God we that. got rid of him. Nah, I mean, I like, I, I like Bobo. If he stays healthy, what realistically he do have to get? He, he got to get stronger. Yeah, he do got to really get stronger. He's very skinny, but really that jump really shot is clean. And that defense is crazy. So far. Can we talk about how good Denver is at drafting? Yeah. Outside of trading Donovan Mitchell away to the Jazz. Who'd they trade him for? I, I'm not. I think uh, it might have been Trey Lyles. Yeah, that was it. That was Trey yeah. Lyles. It was for Trey Yikes. Lyles. Well, other than that, they made Well, I pretty... think they drafted Rudy Gobert, too, and traded him. Ooh, why they mistaken. just gave Utah their whole thing? Nah, yeah. Who they drafted? Ja- Jamal Murray, he's pretty good. Gary Harris was good before he started getting hurt. Jokic. The Joker was good. Yeah. Bobo. Let me see Bobo, if Rudy yeah. Gobert MPJ. was drafted. Uh, yeah, he was drafted by the Nuggets. So they drafted him, and too, technically, so that's to good. But they that's so they, good drafted, they drafted Utah's core. Yeah, pretty much. Donovan Mitchell and yeah. Rudy Gobert. And then outside of that, they still were able to draft Jokic, Nurkic, would you guys, Murray. Murray. Would you guys put Utah, uh, Denver as a top five team uh, in the league? Team in the league, top five for the team? future for young top five young talent for the future. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess so. The only thing that you can really say is competitive and is young mm-hmm. right now. Outside of maybe Boston, maybe Toronto, uh, maybe Philly. Philly's young. Who else in the in the West? It's the Lakers, the Rockets. The Clippers, none of them are young. Utah, I guess they're like they're, they're Memphis kind of is young. young. Memphis, Memphis is, is young. young. The Pelicans are up there. Yeah, Pelicans but young. when you talk so about if I say Memphis, about the, uh, if I say Memphis, yeah, Pelicans, Denver, we got them three teams. Who do you bank on the winning chip first? Denver. Yeah, Denver. Hell yeah, Denver. Yeah, Denver. So they're probably the best. They have the team with the best young core, but they drafted Michael Porter Jr., Bobo, Jokic. Everybody there, Jamal Murray. Exactly. So they're probably one of the best drafting teams in the NBA. Player development is pretty good too. Jamal yeah. Murray's a good player. Yeah. So yeah. Michael um Malik Beasley. Yeah. Malik they Beasley. Him away. Yeah. He's pretty good. Malik, they traded him away. Yeah. They should have kept Morris him too. Monte Morris is a good player too. Monte Morris. So yeah, they're yeah, pretty good. They, 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 they were pretty last good. Last year they ran a 10, 10 man rotation 
a solid five off the bench. Morris, Beasley, and them. Gary Harris fell off though. Yeah, he's averaging like he ten still points play this defense, year. Though. He's plays defense, but he's averaging. He's his points per game have declined like Man, every he's year. Pay, he gets paid like seventeen mil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember I told you a while. I was like, yo, Gary Harris is good like a year ago. He's like, bro, why does everybody keep saying he's good? He falls off every year. And then when he yeah. showed me the statue, he was he dead, does, yeah, falling he, off every year. He does like, fall it's off crazy. every year. <laughs> he about to look up his <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to look it up. Yo, it's crazy. You're going to laugh. Nah, he dead falls off every year. I like him, too. I genuinely like him as a so player. So his rookie season, he averaged uh, three points. Then second year, he averaged 12. Then third, 15. Then fifth, 17. Then six, thirteen. Then now he's averaging ten. Wow! <laughs> I told you he's going down. Like Dude every... made his peak. He's and over. the last two years he shot three thirty three percent from the three, mm. and forty two percent from the yeah. field. Remember they were calling him the next Clay Thompson? Yeah, shot not falling. Yeah, they also found a gem in Will Barton. I, I, I thought good, Will Barton was going to be good back when he was on the, the Blazers. Yeah, he's good. He's, he's a good scorer. He could score. He could score. I like Will Barton. I like that team. They just they need They're to find bad. that. You know, at peace. They need to find another superstar for Jokic. That's what you, I don't think you can win the championship with a big man anymore, in my opinion. I think those days are over. I think you need a wing to win a championship. You need to run your team through a wing or a high-level guard like James Harden or Steph Curry or a wing like Kevin Durant, Kawhi, LeBron. Those are the guys, I think, that can really take you there. I th- but when's the last big man that won a championship? That, that was the best on the team? Shaq? Tim Duncan? The last one, Tim I think, Duncan. to get there was Dwight, Dwight Howard. Yeah, the last to get there. Well, I mean, yeah, the last to get yeah, there was Dwight. Yeah, Dwight Howard was. Uh, he was the last to get there. That was 2000. Garnett, he was more of a power forward, but you could that say he was a big. That was before Dwight, though. The last that was, to that get was 08. There, that was 08. 2010 or 2009 was Dwight, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That was the big man there. I mean, Tim Duncan wasn't the best on his team when they won. And Joel Embiid's pretty good, but like, I don't, I don't really ever that. see him winning the ring. He doesn't. Unless he doesn't have that aggressiveness. He's he, nice though. Yeah, he's a dog. He needs. He needs to step it yeah, up. Yeah, the past years, I think the the last team that had a, a big man that won Spurs the yeah. Spurs in twenty fourteen with Tim Duncan, the Mavericks Dirk, twenty eleven. Oh, yeah. But I don't. I, so, chill, chill. No, I'm saying he's not a traditional. Oh, like a big. center. Oh yeah. Like nah, a but I mean the game is never gonna go back to traditional. That's big what I'm saying. Man, yeah, so. Dirk is Dirk with fit. Jokic here. isn't traditional either though. Yeah. He's one of the best. I passers, think Joel, too. DeAndre Ayton, those are the traditional down low bigs. Like Ayton's good. Ayton, really I good. like Ayton. Ayton is good. <laughs> Ayton's pretty he good. He just, he, I think he was drafted in the wrong era. Honestly, I think he was. No, I think the 90s. player that was drafted in the wrong era was Jaleel Okafor and Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond. Nah, I feel like Andre <laughs> Drummond. Wack. He's so whack to me. But like, he, he, Jaleel Okafor was though. Jaleel Okafor because oh, yeah, he, he really came had a post game. Yeah, they could have ran it. Siakam has a nice post game. Siakam, yeah, he does. Hell yeah, he does. He be yeah, getting like buckets. Him. He's good. 